Hello and welcome to my bioinformatics tutorial series. In this tutorial, uh, I will be showing uh, how to use to the Blasta software to search for uh, similar proteins to your protein. Uh, for example, let's say that you have a protein sequence and uh, you don't know the origin of uh, the protein, the family of uh, name of uh, the protein, related sequences, etc. Uh, you can use uh, Blast to search for uh, such information. Uh, in this tutorial, uh, I'll be uh, using the BLAST software located on the uh, pro uh, proteomic server. Uh, you can use uh, whatever you want, for example, the NCBI1, etc. Click uh, on uh, we search for uh, the term SwissProt, which is uh, a database uh, hosted uh, by the XPASI server. Click on the first uh, hit. As we can see here, it's the main page of uh, the XPASI proteomic server. Uh, we scroll down and we click for, uh, on uh, BLAST, which is for a similarity search, of course. Here it's the main page of the BLAST software. Uh, we passed our uh, sequence here, our protein sequence in raw format, which means only the sequence, not the first uh, line of uh, the FASTA format, which contains the database name, the accession number, protein number, uh, protein name, uh, the organism name, etc. We passed our sequence. As you can see here, I passed only the sequence. Okay. We can uh, run uh, BLAST from here, or uh, if you want, uh, to, to set uh, different settings, for example, you can uh, change uh, uh, the database here. Uh, if uh, we know that uh, our sequence is a bacterial or a viral sequence, uh, for example, protein sequence, etc., we can specify a taxonomic group. Here, if we know uh, the name of the bacteria, we can set the name from here. Okay, to run uh, basic uh, BLAST uh, search, we click on the Run BLAST button. And you wait for the result page to appear. going to take uh, a little time so uh, we're going to, to have uh, to wait we have to wait until the result page appears okay this is the result page of the last uh, search we can see here uh, proteins that uh, sequences that are similar to our protein we can see the first ones, uh, and the most of uh, them are insulin receptor that uh, will give us uh, uh, precious information that our uh, sequence maybe uh, it's an insulin receptor. Okay, we scroll down. We can see here the, the degree of uh, similarity. For example, if uh, it's uh, green, it's 100%. Uh, if it's uh, if uh, it's red, it's 0% uh, or almost. Okay. For example, you can see here the first uh, hits. It's uh, human, rat. We have mouse and rabbit, etc. Which means that uh, this uh, sequence is. Uh, is not only a Homo sapiens uh, sequence. Okay, you can see here that, uh, that the degree of uh, identities it's uh, ninety-five percent. This uh, will give us uh, very good uh, information about our sequence. Okay, here for example it's a ninety-four, etc. Here uh, it's the sequence from uh, the rat uh, genome. Here uh, is uh, from the mouse genome. And the rabbit genome, etc. Uh, for example, if you uh, if you want to see uh, informations uh, about uh, about, for example, the first uh, sequence, which is the insulin receptor precursor, uh, we can click on the accession number here. This uh, will uh, take us to uh, directly to. The information file about this protein. 
we can see here that uh, the recommended the name uh, for this protein is the insulin receptor subunit alpha we can read the uh, general annotations from function catalytic activity cofactor enzyme regulation etc it's the complete uh, file uh, information file about this protein okay this is uh, the lesson uh, of uh, today uh, if you want to see more information about the bioinformatics and bioinformatics tutorials you can visit my blog at bioinformatics-mate-easy.blogspot.com thank you for listening